When importing images into 3D, you need to first find and select your image folder to locate your images. To do this, we will first click on the Thumbnails tab in the bottom pane. To the right, we will see a folder icon. Go ahead and click on it, and a new window will open. Here we can select our image file. First, I'm going to expand the Pictures folder. Then I'm going to click my folder called Inspection Photos, and click OK. Depending on your settings, the pictures in the thumbnail pane might not have enough room to fit. This is easy to fix. All you need to do is position your cursor at the top of the thumbnail pane until you see a line with arrows pointing up and down. This is called a handle. Click and drag the handle until the bottom pane is up as high as desired. Now that we've selected our image folder, we will go over how to filter, preview, and insert photos into 3D. First, we will discuss image filtering. To start, click the gear icon on the right side of the screen in the Thumbnails tab. You'll notice that Show Imported Images is already checkmarked by default. If you remove the checkmark from Show Imported Images, we will only see images that have not already been imported into 3D from the picture folder that is selected. I'm going to remove the check mark by clicking on it. Now that we've removed the check mark from show imported images, as we add photos they will be removed from the thumbnails pane due to the filter. Go ahead and select an image and then click on the import button to see an example of this. We can also right click an image and select mark image as imported to remove it from the images that we see if we no longer want to see it and do not plan on putting it into the report. Now click the gear icon again and put the check mark back on show imported images. You'll see the two images reappear. The one image that we included in the report and the image that we clicked and selected mark as imported. If you click on the gear icon, you'll notice that there are three other filter options available, such as only showing images from yesterday and today. That filter is especially useful for inspectors that finish the reports the same day they take the photos. You may want to watch the video, Save Time by Bookmarking Inspection Photo in Comment Areas, for an example of the Only Show Images Date Slash Time Stamps to Bookmark filter. Feel free to try those filter options out on your own. Now we will discuss previewing and inserting images. In the thumbnails pane, click on an image. You will see an image preview show up to the right. We can then click the import button to add it to the subheading we are currently on. Alternatively, you could instead double click an image to import it into the report. We can also edit images as we import them by using the import and edit button once you've finished editing your image, click on Save and Close to add it to the report. If you want to add multiple pictures to one subheading, just import more photos and the subheading will automatically create another line for the new photo. You will see that we've actually already added four images to the same subheading throughout this example. If we do a print preview, the images will actually combine together for that subheading. For more on inserting multiple images, check out our video on inserting multiple images.